I could have sworn that it was this way. Maybe it was a left turn back at that last intersection. Not really sure. How do you expect to lead others when you cannot lead yourself? Being a good leader means having self-discipline. As a leader, you have so many accountabilities, responsibilities, and tasks at hand. It is very easy to get lost each and every time. So self-discipline allows you to see projects through while maintaining focus and resisting temptations of outside forces. You will yourself to being dedicated to your tasks and not allowing yourself to be distracted at all. Being a leader that exhibits discipline, you inspire others, keep control of your team, and invite respect. Discipline adds structure to your life. You know your purpose, and that keeps your head in the game to achieve your goals and objectives. All while you set standards for yourself through discipline, it allows you to get standards for those around you. You know the expectations and hold everyone accountable for the choices that will be made each and every day. Self-discipline is a task in itself. It doesn't come as easily as everyone thinks it does. But you need to keep it and stay strong and dedicated. But you need to keep at it. Stay strong and dedicated. How do you make sure that you stay disciplined? Do you have a trick to get yourself back on track? Let us know down in the comments. And like I always say, don't forget to smash that like button. I really do appreciate you stopping by. I really do love all of you. Thank you so much. Don't forget to click on that picture right above. That will bring you to my profile. There you can learn more information about myself as well as the company that I work at. And you can find out more information like other videos like this. Scroll down to more activities and click on the button and look at the recent posts. You'll see all the information and content that we post each and every day. Thank you very much for stopping by this week. Have a great week.